Disney Plus loses its magic touch as millions cancel their subscriptions. Oh, it's not exclusive to, to Netflix. Will you see this? Mm. His, uh, things are soft right now. Oh, yeah. I, I actually got the uh, disclaimer today on Netflix. To get your life together? Yeah. yeah. Subscribe to us. Or else? Hey. Yeah. Well, well, really, what did it say? Like, I'm curious because this is this is big uh, news, right? Like, it's one thing if it, they say it's going to happen. It's another thing when it happens to Willie Do, and we're actually sitting here with the ultimatum. So it says a Netflix account is for people who live in the same location. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And then you continue, and then uh, you're logged out. Whoa. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It doesn't give you any, like, two weeks notice nope. no two no. weeks notice you're logged out it's very assertive see you later yeah well anyway not exclusive to netflix people are questioning their subscriptions in general and uh, that also includes disney plus which boomed and then has been softening up a little bit right. a not so spellbinding time for the streamer disney has lost a chunk of its user base i can't say i'm surprised i think every i think it's an incredibly competitive marketplace and people are looking to uh cut back on some of their expenditures during its Q1 2023 earnings report. Disney confirmed Disney plus lost subscribers for the first time in its history between October and December, 2022, the global user base shrunk by 2.4 million. Now in the case of Disney plus the biggest culprit for the involved in this drop is Disney plus hot star, which is the version that's available in India and Southeast China. 3.8 million customers canceled their subscriptions during that period of time. 3.8 in that one region. Hmm. I don't know what happened over there. The content wasn't uh, what they had wanted. Was there a price increase? Was it a, a sort of uh, trial period where there was maybe a promotional price or something? But 3.8 million is a ton. And now, if you're Disney, you had to obviously be thinking, and not just now, but even previously, when you have this international approach, same goes for Netflix, all this regional content you have to be making to remain compelling mm -hmm. in all these places, mm -hmm. oh, the scope of that is so daunting for me to think yeah. about. Like what you need to have in the projects you need to be working on years in advance in Southeast Asia and in India and everywhere uh -huh. else. Holy moly. So in North America, however, they're still doing okay. They added 200,000 more new customers. So the growing in north america the global subscriber base is now sitting at 161 million which is down from 164 it is its first loss but they still have quite a few subscribers for a relatively new mm -hmm. streaming service and what do they got i think they got another season with the mandalorian coming out oh, okay yeah i know because uh, my little guy was telling me he said they're coming with the next season i said well, maybe they'll get a few subscribers i don't know okay but they're gonna keep leaning into their assets to their ip yeah you know they got some ip well quite a lot 